Hi, this is Matt Houghton for Sound on Sound. I'm here at Synthfest UK 2018 and I'm on the HAH synth stall with Alan Hall. Yes, hi. He's the A and hi, the Matt. H in HAH synth. Hello, Alan. Yes, hi, Matt. Yeah. Um, Alan's got four new Eurorack modules for us today and um, I think, do you just want to take us through the first yeah. one? This is our uh, fixed filter bank 914 and um, it's based on the, uh, the, the very early um, passive inductor filter bank from the um, from the original Moog 900 series modulars from the 1960s. So we brought it up to date uh, for Eurorack, but we've added quite a lot of features to it. The, uh, the first thing we have, I'll take you through, we have, we have, 12, we have 12 fixed bandpass filters, um, which go through here, and they go through in, um, in half octave steps. So it goes through um, one, two, five hertz, and then there's an augmented fourth above that, and then um, 250 hertz, which is which is an octave. So it's half octave spacing um, on the on the 12 on the 12 bandpass filters. If we take first of all our uh, there's just some white noise going into it. That's that's the dry signal, and then we feed that through to the wet signal. And there's that's the that's the right bank. So that anything that's that's marked in white here has an effect on that. And is that just with the uh, noise as the input source there? That's You're getting some real noise. sort of movement and different sounds yeah, coming out. But... That's right, yeah. I mean obviously um, I'm just I'm just using white noise for the purpose of, of demo. I mean normally you'd use sure, something a little sure. bit more musical. <laughs> Available in um, six to eight weeks time. Uh, the price point on this one is um, it's going to be £465. So what we've done is we've brought out the, uh, the Mark II uh, module to address obviously to address the the depth issue yeah. so that now it fits fits really well into a skiff case um, but we've also we've um, we've done some considerable improvements to it as well um, this one I based it exactly on the Model D circuitry yeah. um, but the, there are there are some limitations with it the uh, the range is limited to, to really to five octaves uh, which work great in the original keyboard but for modular use um, a much bigger range would be very useful. So we've, uh, we've extended it through to 14 octaves. That's no clash. You'll hear it gliding up as long as I hold the key, but if I, but if I then take it down, and then <laughs> it'll only glide when, yeah. when there's a note on. So you can change that. Um, you can change that, or you can change it so that it'll glide so no matter can, what. You can kind of set it up for how you want to perform. That's then. right. That's the idea, and yeah. similar availability about uh, six weeks' time. Same pricing as the uh, as the as the original unit, and which I think was one one six five GBP. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, right. Alan. Thank you. Thanks.